Photographers, if you are wondering why some people get booked so much and some don't, this video is going to give you a lot of clarity and it's going to teach you how you can arrange your portfolio so that you actually start getting considered for the job. If you are a photographer that loves to shoot fashion, you love animals and baby portraits and weddings and food photography, some documentary, even some street fashion, but you're wondering why you're not getting booked, click like if you can relate to this video because it's going to make sense once I break it down to you how the record labels, how the ad agencies and the marketing companies actually hire photographers and what they're looking for. So in this video, you are going to learn exactly what you should be doing with your portfolio so they start considering you instead of bypassing you. My name is Walid Azami. My experience is that I've worked for the biggest ad agencies in the world, the biggest stars, the biggest authors, presidential candidates. I've been flown around the world and I'm going to teach you guys how you can also stand out as a photographer. And at the end of this video, you definitely want to hang out because there's going to be a free gift that's going to make the biggest difference in your business just by spending four minutes a day with this. It's what I do, it's what I've been doing for years, and it's gonna be yours at the end of the video, so you definitely wanna wait for that. Let's talk about three reasons why photographers get hired and the people that hire photographers. What are those three reasons why they hire? Number one, photographers, you get hired based on your previous success. That's why we have portfolios, right? I look at your portfolio. I see the success you've had in the past and that's the success I want for my project. So why would you give me something new? Give me what you have given other people and you guys have already won doing this. That's why I'm going to hire you. All right. So it's worth mentioning a third time. Photographers get hired based on their previous success. That's the whole point in having a portfolio. Number two, why certain photographers get hired or why people hire photographers is because they want to end up looking like a hero themselves. Imagine yourself as a junior ad executive, maybe in New York City or Barcelona or Los Angeles or Mexico City, and you want that promotion. You want your boss to say, you know what? This person needs a promotion. They picked the best people for this photo shoot. They ended up making us look good. You're going to pick the photographer that's going to increase the odds of you looking like a hero. Imagine you are a husband that messed up the family photos from last year. You're going to make it up to your wife or your other husband, right? And you want to pick the right photographer that's going to take the best photos. You're going to pick the person that's going to make you look like the hero, which is not what you look like last year. You're going to pick the photographer that's going to make you look like a hero. This is why people hire photographers. It's not so much about the project or so much about the end product. It's about their own ego. And that's a basic human emotion that you need to know about. That's going to help you stand out as a business, as a creative, as a photographer, as anything, as long as you want to make money and you want to be successful. The third way for you to stand out and to get hired is to dumb it down, dumb it down for people. Not because people are dumb. Some of them are, but not because most people are dumb, but because people don't have time. People are so inundated with like five social media platforms, 10 things they have to do for their personal life, 10, 20 things they have to do for their professional life, 20 things in their head. So you got to dumb it down so that they don't leave so that they're not thinking too hard. They're not trying to solve a puzzle by dumbing it down. This is where the whole system works. You want to dumb it down. You want to go down to two major styles that you serve and you're the master in it. There's nothing else to worry about. They figured it out. You've got this style and you got that and you're the master. You're the best at it. Let's see what this photographer is about. Wait a minute. They're telling me who they are, what they stand for. And they are confirming to me that they are the styles that they demonstrate. That's kind of dumbing it down. Now, I don't want to do another step. So what should be right below your about me? There should be a contact form right then and there. If they like you seal the deal, don't make them go to the gallery. Don't make them go to the menu. Don't make them go to a contact page. It should all be right there. 
all right? And at the end of each gallery, you should also have your link to about slash contact me page. When you do that, once they reach the end of the gallery, they're thinking, huh, let me just click this. Let me see what they're about. That's about dumbing it down, making it easy for them and removing all roadblocks that could stand in your way. Now imagine other photographers not doing this. Imagine what this person is going through when they see another photographer's portfolio. There's 10 styles. I don't know if this is the right choice. Let's see, where is that? Oh my God, there's so many galleries. Where's that damn contact page? Who is this person? Is it a man? Is it a woman? Where do they live? What's their setup? Do they have their own studio? Dumb it down for them. These people are busy. They're not dumb. I take that back. They're not dumb, but they're busy. Okay. And they want to make sure that they look like the hero. You've already proven that to them. They want it to be easy. They want it to be quick. You're the obvious choice to get hired. So this is how you stand out to the people that are going to hire you. This is how you make them look like the hero. This is how you get all the contracts and this is how you bypass all your competition. Master, not jack of all trades. Two styles, not 10. 10, 12, maximum 14 pictures per gallery, not 30. Have a contact link slash about me page. They should be the same page now, not a bunch of other uh, steps that they have to go through. Make it easy and watch the bookings increase. Now, if you want to watch your bookings increase, if you want to make your life easier, I actually have a bonus gift for you. And that is in the description of this podcast. That's what I promised you. It's a daily worksheet that I use every single day. I've been using it for year after year. That's how I got the clients that I do have. And every single year, I make it a little bit better. I polish it up. I add new things. I take things that are not as relevant. I want you to have this free download. All you got to do is click the link in the description of this video. It's going to take you to another page. You're going to sign up and you're going to get an instant download. And if you guys are looking for a photo mentor, somebody to hold your hand, tell you what to do, give you business advice, give you marketing advice, give you lighting and retouching tips, how to work with models, click subscribe somewhere here or here. Every video, I forget what side it's on. Click like hit the bell to find out when I release my latest video. And don't forget, I actually read every single comment and I respond to them. So if you have a question, please put that in the comment section. Feel free to share this video and can't wait to talk to you guys next time. All right, guys, my name is Walid Azami. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget your free gift. Link in the description.